She's gonna do it. Let's go. Look at these guys. Hello everyone, I hope you are having a fantastic day. In this video we are going to craft an extremely powerful Milady build that will allow you to destroy the hardest enemies of the DLC in just a few seconds. This light razor is an amazing quality weapon capable of dealing an absurdly high amount of damage as fast as a finger snap. The Milady is one of the most broken DLC weapons you can obtain quite early without having to fight anything at all. It features a delightful moveset and a very fast paced combat making it really easy to use but incredibly lethal at the same time. Besides of being an invisible weapon which opens a lot of possibilities when building this beautiful blade. First of all, I will address the main features of the weapon, I will explain the details of the build, then I will test it against the strongest enemies of the base game, and I will show you how you can get the Milady as soon as you enter the Land of Shadows. And at the very end of this video, I will show the performance of this weapon against one of the most complicated bosses of this DLC. So without anything further to say, let's break the game with the Milady. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMO EXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. Ok guys, what we have here today is probably the best light racer of the DLC and one of the most powerful weapons of the entire game. The Milady can take you through the most complicated areas and scenarios without any struggle if you use it under the right configuration. The moveset of this weapon is the perfect combination between elegance, style and destructive power. Meaning that if you are an aggressive player like myself, you are going to have a blast when fighting with this incredible sword. The Milady comes with the impaling thrust Ash of War by default, but as an invisible weapon you can apply it any other Ash of War you want as long as it is compatible with the Light Razor class. However, the Wingstance Ash of War is a skill specifically designed to be used with this weapon. It works by holding a completely imposing stance that can be followed up in two different ways depending on your inputs. If you choose the Light Input, it will unleash a swift combo of three attacks and if you choose the Heavy Input, it will perform an aggressive Air Thrust attack. Both attacks are quite effective and each one is designed to help you in a specific situation. Also, this weapon can be buffed with greases or incantations to deal an additional amount of elemental damage or to build up any status effect. This weapon is actually a very versatile and solid option if you don't want to struggle with the hardest areas of this game. And those are the main features of this weapon. Now let's jump straight to the equipment and the stats. We are going to be using the Milady on plus 25 with the Wingstance Ash of War on the quality affinity and we need any seal we have available to cast our main buffs but it needs to be upgraded to plus 25. I strongly recommend you to use a better armor set but if you like my Genichiro drips, I am using the wired armor with the bandit manchettes, the dancer strusers and the bandit mask. The best talismans we can choose for this build are the ritual sword talisman, the shard of alexander, the millicent's prosthesis and the rodent windsor insignia. However, in situations where you can hold the stance a lot of time, the relana's cameo is a very good option as well. And you can use as well the elemental scorpion charms depending on the buffs you are going to use. In this case, because of my aggressive playstyle, this combo is the best for me. But if you want, you can use any other talisman you find useful as long as it provides something significant for your build. And depending on which type of damage you want to deal, in our Flask of Wondrous Fissi, we can use the Flame Shrouding Crack Tear or the Lightning Shrouding Crack Tear combined with the Thorny Crack Tear. But in some scenarios, it could be smart to use the Stone Barb Crack Tear as well. And this weapon doesn't consume a lot of stamina, but it is always good to have a faster stamina recovery speed. Don't forget your Pickle Torten legs. And in order to get the max performance of this weapon, we need 50 on Vigor, 80 on Mind, Endurance on 40, Strength on 60, Dexterity on 60, Faith on 33, and a minimum of 10 points on Arcane. Golden Vow, Hall of Shabri and Flame Grand Strength are going to be our main buffs. Howl of Shabiri will be really useful in base game scenarios while Flame Grand Strength will be a lot better in DLC scenarios cause it will not make you take more damage. Blood Flame Blade, Black Flame Blade and Electrify Armament are going to be our main weapon buffs. And as you can see I have my Scatter Tree Blessing on the level 12 but I strongly recommend you to push it all the way up to 20. That way you will have a lot of defense and a lot of attack power to destroy everything in the DLC. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we find the true potential of the Milady? Ok guys, to buff your character with this build you have to use Golden Bow first as always, then your Pickle Torture Neck which is completely optional, just after that you have to use your Physic and then you have to use your Weapon Buff, in this case Blood, Blood Flame Blade and your Body Buff, in this case Hall of Shabri because it is the base game but in the DLC I strongly recommend you to use Flame Grand Strength because that one doesn't increase the damage you take. Hey Malenia, let me show you some tricks. Ooh, nice try, Malenia. That is a powerful hit, guys. <laughs> Actually, very insane. <laughs> what is she trying to do, bro? 
I knew that, bro. <laughs> no way I knew that, baby. Oh my god. I knew that, bro. Let's go! Come on. Let's make it happen, guys. Let's make this happen. She's gonna do it. Let's go. Look at these guys. Oh! <laughs> no way! <laughs> He's coming. That's what I'm talking about. Take those three, brody. Let's go. Here we go to the second phase. Oh, what the... Wow, baby. This is so insane, bro. Oh! <laughs> Here we go. Fast. Fast, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, beautiful. Oh, crazy. Let's go. Come on, Elden Beast. We are going crazy, guys. Oh, this was beautiful. No way. Wow, bro. No, 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 no. Wow, you're insane, buddy. Here we go. Crazy, guys. Come on. That is a lot of damage. Nice, second phase. Here we go. Free hit at the start. That is a nice hit. Oh my god. No, I got hit, bro. No. But we we still alive. We are still alive and we are fighting. No. Oh my god, this is close. Okay, as you can see, I'm bad. But the build is quite good. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! I'm bad, but the build is quite good. Look at this, bro! I almost defeat this guy, dude! <laughs>